We have an avalanche ranch practice area over here, so just head over, do a little practice in, get comfortable before we head out into the backcountry. And they actually have targets or transceivers hidden in the snow already as basically practice targets for us to go, practice our search patterns and probing and shoveling them out. We've got to practice our probing. I got the orange shovel to match the orange hair. This one's super easy, you just push in the clip, slide it back, locked in, done. Make sure you know how to use it. These are really complicated. Once again, push the button, done. So now we're gonna take up the stoke chair and then head out into the backcountry. It's gonna be glorious. Okay, so here we're kind of midpoint between sub-peak and peak of Mount Mackenzie. Here with TJ and Andreas. So stoked to be out here with you guys. The sun's out. We're exploring new terrain. We got a million dollar views. Andreas, you got the view of a lifetime behind you. Chris, I am having a spiritual epiphany right now. Feels good. <sighs> All right, so we're at the top of wherever we're going. Yeah, it took us a while to get here, but we switched over, boards on. It's gonna be the first proper time testing the hovercraft in some uh, good snow. I did have that right on the flagship last year and that was really, really fun. So I am excited to try this out. Wow. Be real careful there. Eh? We're off the ridge, we're down in the bowl. That little shoe back there, that was really cool. It's kind of like a mini half pipe. Okay, post it up. Ah, oh, just made it.
All right, we reached the flat part. So it looks like we're hiking out probably to there's a little kind of recovery cat track. Yeah, that last zone was cool. Through that little bowl at the bottom. A little bit of old avalanche debris. I think we made it out. We're like so close to being out. All right, under the gate. Watch out for the pole. Such an amazing experience out there. Uh, I mean, there's not many words I can describe. The views, uh, the crew, uh, just happy that we're all safe. We enjoyed the day and we're riding into the sunset. Just a couple quick thoughts on the hovercraft. The way I was just thinking about it is I got the Storm Chaser and that's kind of like surfing with a short board, whereas this is like a long board. It's got a more delayed kind of cruisy feel to it. And definitely got that like, real surfy, like laid back vibe. Attraction is insane. This is ice. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't take Ryan's advice. I got too greedy. <laughs> you gotta get in and get out. That's the key. <laughs> Really fun. I feel like it's the snow or the board, but it's such good grip. Just we're getting that timing to get in and get out of the turn. I look as good as Ryan. At least I got the red hair. It's a start. I'm just like straight up laying out turns out here like it's nobody's business. Full confidence, full weight. I'm impressed. And this is a split board, like. Oh. Yeah, today was such a cool experience. Uh, the practice was great at the start, getting some of that safety practice in for the avalanches and then getting the split boards out. Just touring around one lap was all we needed. Come, and then we got to come down on the magic hour. Sun is about an inch away from setting over that mountain. And Andreas, five, five words to sum up today. Big, long, hard, fast, uh, stoke. All right, that's it. We're at the cars. We're done. Woo. First day split boarding, Jones Hovercraft. Yeah, I love this board, would like to try it some more for sure. And it was just great being out with friends, getting us some new areas, new trains, new techniques. All good. All right, hope you guys enjoyed watching. See you guys next time. Love you all. Done. I almost forgot, make sure you guys check out all the other people's channels. Big props to all of them. And uh, go check out their videos. See some different angles of the same awesome carnage. Yeah. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Bye.